we just wanted to kind of do a little recap of um, her prep from January up until kind of like after the show. Uh, we managed to put out really three, like the video that you're watching, which is an arm training video. So this is the third one in the series, so it's really three good videos that we wanted to kind of put out and, and kind of up the quality um, of videos that people put on YouTube or competitors put on YouTube. We got a lot of great feedback, and we had some haters too, you know, some haters on there. So we kind of addressed those <laughs> issues with the haters. But pretty much we wanted to kind of upgrade the quality of the videos that we put out, seeing how, you know, she has a lot of followers. So basically we did the leg training video, which went over really well, had a lot of good hits. We did the uh, shoulder training video that went really well. And then, like, the one that we did, the last one that we shot that you're going to be seeing some of during this time, we shot, actually shot before the Arnold, but with just being busy and everything, we just didn't get it out in time, but we still wanted to share it with you guys. So, um, you know, that was the video segment of the preparation, which went really well. I don't think too many people are able to put out, you know, usually they put out one video. We were able to get out three of them. All right, so how was um, your Arnold experience overall this time around? It was uh, hard because it's the second time and I was really wanted to take a first place and from the class and also overall, overall too. So, you know, you always have to, you know, believe in yourself and that's what you can do. And mentally, like I said, I tried, trained it hard. Mental, mental training was more harder than actually physical training. And so that was uh, my part in dieting. Pretty much I get used to it now, so that was a, uh, it's okay. I think uh, the actual prep to me was like, it was harder in the sense we were able to push harder. Um, you know, just, just able to drive her a lot harder because mentally uh, she was more into it. So we were able to really, really get some really good training in. Um, and I think more so this time around, we knew what to expect. Last year at the Arno, yeah. um, it was all new. So it was this big, huge stage, this big name, this big international competition. Um, so you kind of, you know, you, you look at the physique, you look at what she's bringing to the stage as far as conditioning, balance, and symmetry. Even last year, we knew she stood a good shot at really doing well. And at a level like that, to me, um, doing well is putting yourself in a position to win, which is the top three. Um, anybody in the top three or even at that show in the top five is capable of winning the show. Um, so the first goal at any preparation is, of course, to, you know, always shoot for number one. You always have to aim for the top target um, and put yourself in a position to be judged to win. And then after that, it's kind of it's up to the judges um, on what they choose. But the, the prep was it was hard, but it was uh, extremely rewarding. We learned so much about the mental capacity of what we're able to achieve um, in this profession, and that was like really, really great. So it was kind of the placings are just kind of uh, they're bitter, to, <laughs> they're hard to swallow when you're at your best. Sometimes uh, just because we hate losing, but the prep was excellent. The prep really, really was good. When you look at the pictures from this year, what do you think is this your still your strongest points, and what do you think is your weakest points? What do you think you still need to have? I work to do on. Um, I always I know that my shoulder need to be more wider. Um, I, this time I really liked my back first B taping. It's really my lower lats came down attached to my waist. Um, I can really tight my waistline a little bit, and you know, uh, I work on that. And also the glutes and tie in were always um, hamstring, and uh, the glutes were always I had to. Uh, up more. The improvements that she needs to make are still the same ones that she started with, which is more shoulder width, uh, definitely more shoulder width. Uh, this year we, we changed up her, her shoulder routine, which you saw in the video. So a lot of those exercises, if you look at pictures from last year to this year, her shoulders improved dramatically, but we had maybe only started doing that workout maybe two months before the show. Whereas now we have, you know, a whole year or, you know, six months, eight months to our next show to use that routine. So I know her shoulders will definitely be um, a lot better, a lot more where we want them at. Um, same thing last year. Her back wasn't up to par, which this year the back routine that we used worked because it was probably one of the best backs in her class. So it's still the same thing. Shoulders, uh, add more V-taper to the back, uh, more sweep to the quads, uh, and a hamstring glute tie-in which got a lot better, but still can, could stand for more improvement. 
I think we'll do more uh, more plyometric work, more running, more sprinting, uh, just to bring a different kind of athletic tone and maybe hit some areas that way that maybe the weights are not doing. Um, but the, the basic core of her workout will remain the same because that's what got her there. Third in the world, what else do you do in, in between time? I mean, people see you working out, see you on stage, you know, at, at the shows, but what about in between time? What do you do and what do you have coming out and what's going on? Okay. Um, well, everybody know that we own Personal Training Center uh, called Racial 121 Fitness. And I am a director of operation and also personal training. So I'm a full-time personal training. Uh, I will probably train 8 to 14 people a day, uh, six days a week. And so I'm pretty busy. And uh, I'm also, um, I have three teenagers. <laughs> so that uh, keeps me busy too. Um, and uh, I have a um, different project. My uh, meal replacement called, um, I actually designed my own meal replacement. It's named called Bitai, is, um, meaning beautiful figure by Japanese. And uh, we already designed a container. I have already sampled. So we will uh, do the finish, uh, sign a contract, everything else. And it's going to be out uh, middle spring towards the summer. And that's my one project. Then also I have another project, uh, my new clothing line called Executies. Um, that's going to come out, so I'm really excited. And meantime, I'm do different photo shoot, um, uh, different work for you know fitness modeling, bodybuilding called Gekkan Bodybuilding. That's a Japanese bodybuilding magazine, and uh, about ten more than ten thousand subscribers every month. I am on that every month for my training column, and uh, that's about four to five pages spread. And that's really uh, going well. So I'm doing a whole year. But what happened about the, you know, Jap Japan uh, earthquake disaster right now? So um, that's kind of hold holding up to everything. And you know, we will see how um, how fast you know they can actually recover. But right now, it's really having a hard time over there. So, um, but that is on the, another project too. All right. So I know you guys don't know exactly what. Pinpoint date is next for you guys. What's next? But what do you kind of see as uh, kind of what's next for you? Is it uh, Arnold next year? Are we uh, looking to do that or a show in between? Or um, we're looking to do a show. Uh, like last year, they wanted her to do a show out in California um, to go out there and win that and get some exposure. Um, and I think that's in November. Was that in November? Right. Yeah. So that's that's kind of depending on the outcome because they wanted her to come and c compete in Japan also. And with the tsunami and the earthquake and everything, we're not really sure how that's going to work out. So right now, tentatively, we're, we're planning on doing the show in November um, out in California. It's, it's in conjunction with the Sacramento Pro. And then I'd love to go back to the Arnold and win that. Um, but it, it just kind of depends. That Those are the tentative loose plans, uh, the Sacramento in November and the Arnold again in March. Uh, you know, so. All right. Any uh, parting words? Anything else you guys want to say to uh, all your fans looking at the video? Well, actually, I really wanted to say thank you for uh, all your guys' support and, uh, you know, um, visit my website or actually the video, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, everything else. And I would like to continue to, um, you know, to keep in touch with all the fans. And also my calendar is still out. Uh, actually, you can purchase go on, on my website, figureprodigy.com. You can get the information. And so it's a, um, I wanted to do more um, towards a um, lot of different things. Actually, you know, probably different bodybuilding shows to see those fans and, you know, actually, you know, more so closer, you know, attached with the fan. And uh, those are new pro product coming out. So you guys are being seen as more often. And... Um you know, it's like I'm actually uh, debating. 99% um, sure I'll be doing um, the Masters Nationals in July. 100%. 100% sure I'll be doing the Masters Nationals in July. Um, and with that, you know, I have a new clothing line coming out called that Next Level. Um, and also, um, I'm ready to sign the contract to Mar Monday and send it in, but... Uh, Mike Polonowski, uh, Paul, he gonna kill me because Mike P, the, the same guy that does Kai Green video and Victor Martinez video, 
Um, me and him have been talking over the last few months about doing a lifestyle documentaries about my upbringing, uh, where I'm at now with business leading up to the Masters Nationals. Um, we're 99.99% ready to do it. I've just got to sign the contract and send it back in. So those are some of the things that I'll be doing some video training videos for YouTube and different things like that. So it's what we got coming up. And I just want to thank, um, you know, I want to thank Chie for making me look good as a trainer, <laughs> you know, because she works hard and, you know, and then everybody likes to see her. So then they got to see me. So I just, you know, I love working with her and, and, you know, so I want to thank her for that. And then everybody that tunes in, um, and whether your comments are good comments or bad comments, they're your comments, and we appreciate all of them. Yes. Um, you know, so I just want to thank everybody that takes the time out to reach out to us um, in a good sense or a bad sense or just taking their time. So all the people online, uh, all, my, all the staff here at Ratio 1 to 1, kids for putting up with us. So I just want to thank everybody.